here we are stepping into a brand new day. How much of what we do is based on muscle memory? My master in martial arts didn't believe in such a theory, this thing called muscle memory. He claimed muscles have no way of recognizing a memory, yet other experts claim that muscle memory occurs because when you first build muscles, your body adds new cells. Now, when you lose those muscles, here's the thing, the cells don't disappear. But wait, we're using the term muscle memory in a wrong way then. Maybe I should be saying through daily habit, we begin this brand new day, or through routine, we are pushing our way into another 24-hour period. Through personal experience, we are here. So what's next? And does it get old playing out the same cycle? Which is why it's so difficult to remember the days of the week. Nothing truly changes because so many of us are caught up in our personal comfort and security zones. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. That's part of my daily cycle. I go into the writing area, this big, beautiful window overlooking this beautiful forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina, and I begin to feel what is in the atmosphere. In fact, I was just with Marta McDowell just a few minutes ago, and she's got a brand new book out, and it's called Gardening Can Murder. And I laughed at that because, I mean, in a really weird way, I am a tree Gardener, I've got trees all around me, and I listen to these trees. So I asked her that question. Do you listen to the plants that you put in your garden? Oh, she totally agrees. So what does this have to do with muscle memory then? When I sit down to write, am I using muscle memory to put words on a page? Because maybe something is blocking your habit or your ritual, that daily thing that you do, when you know inside your heart that writing is is that moment that will help bring peace to your traveling soul. This is The Daily Mess. Locating that place when your entire body is consumed by peace. Ooh, can you imagine? Can you imagine going back to that place all the time? That moment where peace just consumes your body. The sad news is it doesn't last very long maybe a few seconds or so. And the reason why is because the rest of you begins to catch up. It starts thinking about all the things that bring on the weight of the world, that thinking process of yours, which gets in the way of your emotions by way of giving yourself permission to process the outside world, the mind, the body, and the soul. It has to prepare for the world at war, robbery, murder, workplace abuse. Suddenly that place of peace has been consumed by the strength of fear, doubt, shame, guilt. How do we get back to that moment of peace. And the reason why I bring it up like that is because about seven minutes before I climbed out of bed this morning, I felt a moment of peace. My face buried in that pillow, a blanket over my body, 42 degrees outside. I felt something that I can say was peace. And it lasted just a couple of seconds. That was it. Because then I started worrying about the rest of the world. What happened in Russia? What's going on in Israel? What is going on with businesses these days? Will we make it through another financial crunch? How do we get back to that peace? You know, they say that about the mother's womb. It's impossible. Unless you're able to meditate and or escape reality through the concentration and patience that writing or something that gives you a place of peace is presented. But do you allow yourself to step in there while ignoring the rest of the planet? That's not being selfish. What that is, is that's giving you the moment of self-love. You've got to be able to have that strength to say, the rest of the world can wait. I ain't going to be here forever. Therefore, I need to take care of this shell that I am right now and give it a place of peace. One thing I've learned about meditation is that it's extremely difficult because you can't turn off the outside world. Being in that moment of you, just you, no digital devices on, maybe the window open, a light breeze coming through, maybe a blanket over you with your face planted in a pillow, just you. And that would be a tough question too. Do I always have to find my peace while I'm in bed? No. There are many times when I am in public, I've got people all around me, that I go into that moment of peace. And the way you do it is you listen to the way you're breathing. You feel your body take in that air. And you can literally, with patience and time, 
feel that air move through you. It sounds quacky, doesn't it? But when you find that path of peace, the world can be going to hell. It doesn't matter because you are with you. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.